Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news from the United States, still the world's largest economy, that interest rates there are likely to remain near 0% for at least another couple of years. This means the US dollar is weak, people talking about money printing, and with very low interest rates it's not very attractive. So what people are doing is borrowing money in US dollars and putting it into other currencies like the New Zealand dollar, which remains relatively firm at around 74.5 to 75 US cents. But are there signs of exit from the US Federal Reserve? Overnight it announced some changes to its discount window for loans to banks. Remember it used this to help rescue them during the dark days of September and October last year. It has cut the size of the discount window from 90 days to 28 days. However, those rates and rates remain very low. Back in New Zealand, Infratil, one of our biggest investment companies and listed, has announced that its profit outlook is going to be slightly weaker. It's talked about low gas prices for its assets selling energy in Australia, and the bus strike in Auckland is a problem for Infratil. It's continuing ahead with its deal to buy Shell's petrol stations and part of the refinery up at Marsden Point with the super fund. It's close to being done, that deal. It'll give it, give it access to that very lucrative business in pies, the Big Ben pies in those cabinets. You might recall the video where the policeman tells the young guy to blow on the pie. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASP.